go around to the left here. Full share and welcome to Air Rider. My name is Ben. We're actually uh, today, I'm in civvies, uh, I'm not in my usual bike uniform. We're actually heading to Sleeve League uh, today, which is a combination of months of uh, build up. So I'm delighted to finally make it here. And I've got my wife joining me on, on today, she really wants to come along, so uh, delighted to have her with me. Uh, but uh, we just left the car park area, I'll just show you where that is now. So you've got this kind of winding road section. That's where you park your car and you've got to, you've got to walk there uh, or, you, or you can take the bus. The bus terminal or services for, is running from there and then you can literally make your way up. But uh, that is pretty much it. We're going to continue on now. All right, let's, um, let's check out the map. So we've got the map of Ireland here. We're going to start off with Dublin. We work our way across the N4 here, Mullingar, Longford. Carrick on Shannon, which is where our, our base of operations is, and then we head towards the uh, Sligo area here. Uh, just note in my previous videos, I've done this entire Wild Atlantic Way coastline. So if the Wild Atlantic Way is something that you like, be sure to check out my content. I've actually got a playlist of all the Wild Atlantic Way locations, so be sure to check that out. And I'll put a link in the end screen as well. Right, so we're going to go through. We're in Donegal. We've done Rosnaula. Uh, Merva Beach, we've done Mount Charles, and we've done Fintra Bay here, Fintra Beach, and we've also done Macross Head, which is here, and finally we're here at Sleeve League. So um, it's exactly where it is, right there, and I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to showing it to you. Thanks for watching as well, and now it's time to get back to the video, but this is a beautiful uh, uh, coast, uh, coastal um, stretch on this side here, so be sure to check it out. So here we go, back to the video, and that's exactly where Sleeve League is. Yeah, so the Sleeve League cliffs are um, just over 600 metres high, and they're the second tallest in all of Ireland. So really looking forward to seeing them. I've never been up here. It's my first trip up here. So I'm delighted to finally make it. And uh, like I said, we've got all our previous videos that you're more than welcome to have a look at. I'll put the link in the end screen and in the description. But uh, watch this video first and then you can check out all my other Wild Atlantic Way videos. Thanks for, thanks for watching as well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Please like the video and please comment as so well. Yeah, Sleeve League, six, just over 600 meters high and the second highest in Ireland. And I'd say it's probably one of the, it's probably in the top 10 for the highest cliffs in Europe. So if you're in, if you're ever in Donegal, it's definitely a place that you want to, you, you definitely uh, want to come and see. And it's definitely, it's one of their signature points. So on the Wild Atlantic Way, you've got Discovery and Signature Points. The signature points are the highlighted Discovery Points, or the unique ones that you've got to make an effort to come and have a look at. So all the previous ones that we saw were Discovery, and this is our signature point here. Sorry, just trying to catch my breath a bit. But yeah, we're making our way across. I'll pan around now. Enjoy the show. Yeah, so we've got this tarmac road all the way through and then it's gonna link up to the coast road or the coastal section. And then we're gonna get a beautiful view of the ocean there. And we should get a good view of Sligo as well, which is where we've it's taken us, uh, sorry. It's, uh, it's taken me about just, just over two hours to get here. Uh, we sort of went a slightly longer route as well so we had a look at a few locations that i've been to in my previous videos and i uh, wanted to show my wife the area so all in all if you were to come straight from sligo straight here it's roughly about two hours about an hour and a half roughly if you come in from sligo where i live i live in roscommon it's about two hours just saying about the spectacular scenery um that's to be found in this area because the probably one of the main things we're going to have a look at is a cliff but then like i said you've got this whole coastal section here that we're going to be taking a look at and if you look behind me here we've got fantastic sections of of cliffs that go all the way down here that drop all the way down into the into this to the ocean here and then you can see right across here is that is sligo over there and I've pointed that out, and that's not an array. And I pointed that out in the previous video there at uh, Macross Head. And uh, such a beautiful day. We've got more sections that we're going to be coming up on, very similar to that now, which is fantastic. And we're going to be able to see some of the rock 
and some of the, uh, the actual past that, that they've actually cut through here as well. And we'll be able to see some of the retaining wall for those that are engineers watching. But take, take a look at this. Isn't that fantastic? How's everyone doing? Yeah, so we're going to continue on. We'll come around to the bend here. Just behind us here, we've got an absolute fabulous view here. We've got the air sign here as well, the air 71. And you can just see all the way down there. <laughs> yeah, just delighted I've come here. But uh, try to get up a little bit earlier, but um, just struggled a bit. But we're almost there. It's interesting, you see these um, stones that they've put up. A little long here, they're probably just uh, markers. So just when you know when you're walking, you know how far you are to the end, I guess. I suppose that's if you've that's if you've got a map. How you doing everyone we're almost we're almost here you can see the viewpoints just behind me here and we've got the sleep league mountains just behind us here and that's where we're going to see the cliffs but man it's absolutely fantastic out here i've got some great views where i am here i'm going to show you in a sec but man I've, i think I've, I've been blown away at the amount of uh, the scenery around here it's just fantastic we've got cliffs mountains even the road and that with the uh with the walk up it's just been fantastic but um, i'll spin it around in a second you can take a look have a look at this I'm going to go around to the left here, then we've got the Sligo just over there. And then there's a, there's a lake here, just next to the road. And that's our viewpoint stop, it's going to be right there. It's one of the Napoleon era uh, signal uh, blocks that they actually put up along the coastline here in Ireland. And that's one of them there. But. Uh, Doesn't that look spectacular? It's going to go on just for a little bit longer. Here we are, Red Sleeve League, just behind me here. You'll be able to see the cliffs, but I'll, I'll pan around as well so you can take a proper a proper look as well. But uh, man, what an absolutely fantastic place. If you've considered coming to Sleeve League, it's definitely, it should definitely be on your list. But um, take a look at the back here. And that is your classic Sleeve League photo that you've probably seen around. And uh, there's a trailer hike, you can literally hike all the way up at the top here. Um, if you, so. How you doing everyone? Just here at the viewing platform. Uh, and just behind us here we've got a good look of uh, the Sleeve League uh, cliffs. But um, again, thanks for watching as well. I really appreciate the support as well. Don't forget to like the video and uh, let me know below uh, in the comments. But uh, take a look at this. Doesn't that look fantastic? Anyway, uh, we're just finishing up here now, so we're going to head back. Um, probably, I don't know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the drone out and I'm going to film a bit of the sections down that side. But um, yeah, we're all finished up here. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll leave you with these uh, these back ones here, and then, like I said, check out the drone footage for the rest.
end the video here so again thanks very much for watching uh, please like comment and subscribe um, and i hope you really enjoyed the sleeve league uh, walk i pretty much walked all the way from the start all the way through and i've added in video there to include that entire walk so if you do you've got two choices when you actually get here you can either take the bus or you can actually walk so those will be your two, uh, your two choices there if you wish but walking is not that far if you're fit enough and you don't mind it it's beautiful weather today so i thought why not indeed but uh, i'm going to end here i'll catch you all in the next video bye for now Hello. <laughs> Got some sheep friends here. <laughs> See you in the next video.